what's going on everybody we're here today at one of our friends house uh crazy house but even crazier cars on the inside join me and let me show you the cars that he's got we got kevin here hey how are you man good to see you good to see you man after a long time of texting back and forth on instagram yeah exactly uh, so let's start off with with the, with the m4 yeah for sure yeah so we got a 2019 m4 Cabriolet uh, competition package on it. Uh, pretty stock so far. Uh, over the winter time, it's gonna get a whole bunch of carbon accessories. So we're gonna do a front uh, front diffuser, rear diffuser, side skirts, and a wing. But uh, other than that, it's, uh, it's pretty uh, stock. Yeah, just keeping like a little small touches that make it look a bit more and performance like, but, but keeping it a bit clean. Exactly, yeah, for sure. The one thing I really love about that is the paint job and, and the fact that it's, uh, it's a hard top convertible. Yeah, the paint looks awesome in the sun. Uh, this is a crazy one. This is a 2016 uh, Jeep Wrangler that's been completely linexed inside, outside, scratch proof, dent proof. This thing's an absolute machine. It used to take it wheeling a lot, still do a little bit, but it's got a 10,000 pound winch on the front, snorkel. I've had it in probably about four to five feet of water. The entire inside's waterproof. Uh, this thing's awesome in the awesome off road and, and, and awesome in the winter time. So uh, he did say this was key proof and scratch proof, so you got the key? Nothing. Nothing's Just happen. nothing. Safety. It's good. You need it like that for when you're going off rocks and hitting trees and branches and Chips stuff off-road. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, is it like deer-proof, moose-proof and stuff? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All That's right. awesome. And now, okay, so now finally seeing this car after seeing it on uh, Tiago's page. Yeah, That's so uh, 2019 Lamborghini Urus. Uh, for the most part, it's stock. Went to second skin. If you know there's uh, on the Urus there's some parts that are typically gray That's along right. the along the side and then along the back which have been wrapped in gloss black and then on the back of the car we've got uh, the Lamborghini logo painted in yellow to match the calipers mm -hmm. so just a little bit of a personal touch on it uh, just kind of mixing it up a bit do you know the color name on this one because it's not a blue thing yeah it's blue in. azurus I think is azurus? how you pronounce it yeah the wizardry kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good with my <laughs> Definitely not fluid in Italian, but I think it's a Blur Azuris is, is what it's called. Is there, what color is the inside? Uh, so it's black leather with yellow contrast stitching. Oh, and then yellow that's in the so nice. That's so nice. That's so nice. Yeah. So the Lamborghini Bull is all in yellow. Yep. Yeah, Perfect. exactly. Yeah. So now we're kind of making way to kind of the battle. Into the garage, yeah, the battle of the V12s. Exactly, yeah. So, so a lot of debate over these two cars, obviously. So first of all, we have the 2017 Lamborghini Aventador Super Veloce. Uh, this car is insane. Um, the options on this from factory are pretty, uh, pretty nuts. So it's got a custom paint job from Lamborghini. It's got the sport exhaust system in it. Uh, obviously a naturally, naturally aspirated V12, 750 horsepower. Single clutch gearbox, so uh, rides a lot rougher than the Ferrari does. You really gotta make sure you match the revs and stuff. But uh, a super, super fun car to drive, uh, especially in the summer with the, uh, with the roof off. So you told me this paint job was how much? Uh, this is a $28,000 paint job on the car. Uh, the exhaust is uh, another $28,000 on top, so it's got a ton of options on it. So so my car is your paint job? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Like, I really love, like, even the carbon is, it's, a, it's like a matte, you said it's matte? Yeah, yeah, matte it's a matte carbon. And, and actually, if you see it in the sun, unfortunately, it's not the greatest weather today, but you yeah. get a real cool, like, pearlized effect right, uh, yeah. in the direct sunlight for it. Yeah, and um, the interior. The interiors are always nice. Yeah, the interior, interior on the SV is crazy, right? Because you've got uh, all exposed carbon fiber. Um, obviously, no carpets as part of their weight saving initiative. That's right. Full Alcantara with the contrast orange stitching. Then, the, obviously, the Lamborghini uh, logo in the headrest as well, I think, is a really nice touch. And then full carbon fiber, everything on all the options inside too with the uh, with that package too. It's also got carbon fiber um, all throughout the engine bay too. Yeah, so tell me a bit about this car because I mean we got, that seems a bit more common I guess, but uh, this one, not many people realize what this car is. I mean, for anybody, like you said earlier, somebody thought it was a California. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And so I guess if you don't, yeah, if you don't know Ferraris, it, it kind of does look like a California too the untrained eye, but so it was a 2019 812 super fast. Uh, this came in from Ferrari of Alberta. Yeah. Um, this is a heavily, heavily optioned car. So we've got carbon fiber uh, front, uh, for, like the front uh, diffuser and the skirts there. 
Side skirts are all carbon fiber. The rear is carbon fiber. There's a lot of carbon in the interior. This also is um, the 70th anniversary Rosso paint, oh, wow. uh, which is a very, very, very rare paint. Uh, obviously, again, another front engine uh, V12, naturally right. aspirated, right. 800 horsepower. Um, this thing is just, it drives drastically different. They're both really good, yeah. but this is something you can, it's really comfortable. You can pack a bag, go for a long drive. Easily, yeah. Yeah, you don't feel the bumps anywhere near as much in this either too, so. I find it so crazy that, you know, putting, you know, like even the trunk on this, like you could put a decent amount of things in that luggage, a bag or two, and the fact that it is a front engine V12 producing like 500, 600, but almost 800 horsepower. Yeah takes you for a spin. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's nuts. And yeah, you're right. You can easily get four good sized duffel bags in yeah. the trunk. Yeah. Uh, so a great weekend car if you're heading up north to Muskoka or something like that. Yeah, or if you yeah. want to just go to the gym and chill up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a great car. I love it. So. so just to let our viewers know, I mean, coming, they see the cars, right? They see Ferrari, Lamborghini, BMW, but why don't we kind of give them a little backstory of some of the other cars that you go on? I mean, yeah, so there's uh, we're still missing some artwork from our buddy Lucas, uh, who's obviously a, a great photographer. But some of the other cars um, had uh, 2000 Viper RT10, 2001 Viper RT10, Aston Martin Vantage, uh, that was the V12, uh, sorry, that was the V8, the, the S Roadster, uh, McLaren 12C, McLaren 650S, McLaren 675 LT, and, uh, and a couple more toys on the way after that. So. Uh, definitely been a car guy my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's yeah. awesome. And I just want to want to talk about that one quickly. Reason being is because he told me a pretty astonishing fact about how many Vipers there was in one position altogether. Yeah. So this was that was in 2004. It's a Viper Owner Invitational, and this was essentially the the cars that you see in both those pictures. If you combine all those cars, that's how many people uh, were there. We had 600 cars for that event. We actually drove from here down to Texas with a bunch of other guys, and uh, just an amazing uh, four-day experience. Uh, it was at Texas Motor Speedway, so we had like race training and stuff, which was pretty cool. So, yeah, car community is uh, is awesome, obviously. It's huge. You told me earlier this this one this one has not been started in what, like two days. Or one yeah, day? it's probably been uh, it's probably been a week since I fired it up. Uh, the cold start on this is, uh, is pretty wild. Yeah, I'm pretty cold too. You know, I think I need my hands to get warmer. I'm going to go back there and <laughs> warm it up, you know? We can definitely help you with that. Should we do it? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's All do right. it. Okay, cool. <laughs> Car. This has way more than just a couple revs. What we're gonna do is what we wanted to do today was was take one of these cars out and do some rollers and some more videos with it. But uh, the weather is looking not so nice and it's getting a bit chillier the later it gets. So what we're gonna do just for you guys is we're gonna come back another day and we're gonna get more content of this Ferrari A12 super fast. And uh, who knows, we might have another SV there and do yeah. some crazy fun stuff. You know, two V12s. You gotta keep it interesting. So thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. And I appreciate it. So we'll see you again in about a few days. Yeah, sounds and, good. Uh, Thanks can't for coming wait to by. Yeah, hundred percent, of course. And uh, when you get your new toys. Just uh, give a little. No, make sure right? to send you a message for sure. <laughs>
right, welcome back, Alan. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you, thank you. Good to be here. No more AMG GTR right now. Well, still in the garage at home, but it's good. But we have something else. Yeah. Something in a whole different color scheme. Yeah. It's like you went the two ends, and now this time we got the white guy here. That's right, the big and people. That's right. So, I don't know if people can see it, but you might be able to see the thing sticking up right by the roof. It's, it's a bike. You do a lot of biking? I do a lot of biking. You had it on the AMG GTR too, right? I had it on the AMG as well, yeah. What do you guys use most, the Aventador or the AMG? Well, if I have to go to a really dirty lot, I won't take this. The white? I'll take the M5. Yeah. But, uh, Congrats, the by the way. Oh, thank Congrats, you. by the way, on the F90 M5. That's very nice. Thanks. So what kind of stuff did you have done to this uh, the Super Veloce? This one we kept it pretty simple. We did the uh, Novatec coilovers. Mm -hmm. uh, we did the Bridgeton Forge wheels in the 2021. And then we did the Brooks Racing exhaust. Wow, Brooks Racing. I haven't heard of that on, on the Ventador. Yeah. Uh, but I know after hearing your AMG GTR, I know you kind of like your exhaust. You know yeah. exactly how you want it. Exactly. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty curious to see how this one sounds like. Uh, the other day, uh, Kevin was actually, he revved uh, his SV, he had a racing exhaust on it, straight from Lamborghini. Yeah. And he, uh, he said that he hadn't turn it, uh, turned it on in about a few days, so I think four or five days. So I, I just, I'm so fresh off of that sound. So I really, I really wonder what, what this one sounds like. So let me tell you guys a quick fact about the Santa Cruz mountain bike right behind us. This bike isn't just any typical bike you get at your sports store. This is a $15,000 bike that's a full carbon bike and it's also got Michelin tires. All right guys, I heard, I heard something loud. I heard something V12-y and I think I heard a pony. Yeah, uh, sounds like a horse. There it is. Looks like Kevin just randomly came here and decided to join us. So now we got both V12s, Lamborghini and Ferrari. So we're gonna do some rollers, some exhaust, some revs, and let you guys choose which V12 is better. Oh, my God. 